Hey YouTubers, this is Prash. This is this would be my update tutorial on how to capture your Android screen screen, especially your gameplays, uh, with uh, Elgato Game Capture HD uh, capture card. I have my original video already on my channel, uh, which got a lot of attention and a lot of curiosity among people who want to record their uh, their gameplay with uh, Elgato. And uh, Still, it is the best way to record your uh, gameplays, audio and video in HD quality. Now, I don't have the latest Elgato, which is uh, HD 60, which is able to record uh, uh, games, uh, mainly output of your any, uh, any, any console or device up to 60 FPS, 1080p. So this is an old Elgato, uh, which can record uh, 1080p, 30 FPS only. Uh, I have already ordered the say, HD 60, and hopefully, if I ever get it during this week, I'll make another video uh, about how to whether you can capture uh, your Android gameplay in 60 FPS. If your Android runs on your particular system, which is your mobile or, or Shield tablet, if it runs on 60 FPS, I think HD 60 capture card should record in 60 FPS without any problem. But I'm not sure because I don't have it. So today I'll be showing an update uh, with a tutorial and uh, few changes I have uh, suggested, have done uh, compared to my last video. As you can see, I have this uh, Samsung uh, original MHL 3.0 cable. As you can see here, MHL 3.0 compared to that three-way cable I used, the red cable I used in the past, uh, which is not a good quality. Of course, it was just the thing that I worked for me that time. But now I upgrade it to a Samsung cable, which you can see here, which looks like this. It is for Note 4, as uh, you can see. It can uh, resolution up to 4K, as you can see here. I will uh, leave a link in the description below where, where you can find this. On Amazon, it should be around $30, $35. And make sure you get the original product. I got it from the Samsung, local Samsung store, so I'm sure about the quality of it. And it worked fine. I tried with the previous method, which I, I showed you in my previous video. And uh, for, for some reason, it didn't work. Uh, maybe it's, it's, it's the drivers of the Elgato Game Capture software has changed or what. But then I had to buy this original cable, which, which is a little bit expensive, but it worked. So as you can see, the setup is from here. Out, uh, from as you can see from your uh, HDMI uh, from your for phone, MHL 3.0 uh, will be connected to a USB USB port of your phone, and on the other side where the HDMI cable is, you have to put one of the HDMI cables, which will go to HDMI, uh, which is go to MHL 3.0. Uh, this cable here, and in turn it will go to HDMI splitter which is here. This splitter is important because uh, you need to strip the HDCP protection which your device has it. So Samsung, all Samsung phones has this HDCP protection. So to, uh, to split that, uh, to strip that, you need HDMI splitter like this, which has a one input and one output, one or two output. I have a two output, uh, but you might have one input and one output, but you always have one input. So from your uh, device, via MHL 3.0, it will go to SD, uh, your splitter in, HDMI in like this, and it will have an AC power because it needs power. So you will have, a, when you buy this product, which I have linked in the description below from Amazon, there will, there will be a power, a separate AC power, which is here to plug in. So from in here, there would be out, there will be two out here, but uh, you can use one, I suggest you use one only. And uh, second, second HDMI cable will be uh, going out from uh, from H from this splitter to Elgato Game Capture HD in, which is here. As you can see, it's HDMI in like this from your splitter. Splitter out, Elgato HDMI in. Once again, your phone or device with YMHL 3.0 cable. Go a cable for HDMI cable going in to splitter and from splitter out it goes to your capture card in. Now I also put HDMI out which is optional if you want to broadcast your gameplay on uh, on your screen like this. 
which I'll show you in a moment. But of course, you have to hook up your Elgato USB, ca USB cable, which is required to record your gameplay via software. So that's the cable here, which is going to my PC there, as you can see in my PC. There. So I'll show you now the demo in the software. As you can see, it is working flawlessly. You can just click record here and it will record. I'll just show you demo of recording for a few seconds. As you can see now, it's, it's it has recorded uh, a sample clip. I'll show you uh, how exactly it looks when it comes out. As you can see, it is uh, recorded just fine with audio. And in the settings tab, you have to make sure that you select other as your input device. Uh, keep HDMI as video input, HDMI audio game capture, of course, and uh, your desired profile. I have kept uh, 1080p, and it does have option of allowing 60 FPS, but I think it's only if you have a, a HD60 capture card, which is the next version of Elgato. Other things like here remain same, and uh, picture I adjusted, audio I kept a default, and that's about it. It should it should work fine. So let me know your questions if you have any and I'll try to answer them in the comment section below. Thank you very much.